melancholy. Melon gummy. Hi guys and welcome to Food Review UK. My name is Nate, that is Gossy, that's MJ. And uh, we are gonna be reviewing the new sugar-free Tic Tac Gum Anguiria. Thank you to Rosie who bought this for me from Italy. I kind of remember last how long have you had this? Oh, mate, so fucking long. I do kind of remember that you've mentioned this before. Yeah, because I was actually really excited about it. I was super excited about her actually getting it for me. Super excited to re actually review it. Then I think I got it ready the last time you guys came. Oh. Um, and I think we just never got to it. Just notice it's gum. Yeah, it's gum. It is Tic Tac gum. Oh. But it's also not mint. So it's Tic Tac, which is mint, sweets. Yeah. But it's actually melon gum. So it's actually, it's almost not Tic Tac. What? Yeah, I'm excited for this. Oh, interesting smell. Oh, hiccuping. Good. <gasps> I should just confirm. Cool. Slightly drunk still. Hand eye coordination. What are you. I don't know what's happening. You can't. Can you even see it on the screen? Wow. Wow! That's packed with flavour. Mm. Very sweet. I thought you were wearing the fact that I've just Darren Browned you. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you Darren Brown the fuck out of me, mate. No comes to menthol. Um, God, that is quite weird slash odd well, slash yeah, nice. Gum. Tic Tac Gum before. I haven't. I can't remember having something where there was a menthol at the end of it. Um, you might be thinking of the Tic Tac Breezers, which yes. were fruit. They weren't gum, but they were fruity with the menthol. Um, I'm gonna throw this out there. No one's mentioned it yet. The flavour's actually strawberry. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I mean, tastes like melon, looks like melon, melon yeah. is melon. Wait, it's, I, yeah. No, it's watermelon. Yeah, what did I just say? Strawberry. strawberry. Sorry. I meant the flavour's actually watermelon. I don't mean strawberry. What I meant to say, I don't know why strawberry came out. With every bit I took in, every bit you tasted a bit going. like a watermelon pip. Like I was putting a pip into my mouth. Oh, that's, yeah. But with each pip was packed with flavour. Mm. Sorry, I didn't mean to say strawberry at all. It's packed with flavour. Mm. Yeah. I love that. It's really, it's really fresh. It's really light. Yeah. It's so juicy. Yeah, yeah. I've I been, fucking love that. I've been chewing for a while now, and whilst the flavour's definitely the flavor gone, goes, yeah. but not terribly. Like sometimes you have a gum where yeah. after the flavour goes, actually it's really just drying your mouth out and just sapping flavour from your mouth. Yeah. I've not got, got to that level yet. No. One thing I love as well, I'm going to zoom in for this, guys, if you'll allow me. Strawberry, what a fucking idiot. And today on QVC, you can buy yourself some uh, Tic Tac gum and Guria. Right, hopefully that's focused. Focus yeah. on me. Focus on me. What? The only reason why I said strawberry is because when I looked at it, I was like, oh, actually. It looks strawberry. Yeah. If you miss the. Yeah. You don't see the green underneath it. I was like, it doesn't look like melon, it looks like strawberry. And then I was like, oh, yeah, you know, it tastes like strawberry. What are you trying to show? It doesn't. Hopefully, hopefully it's picking up. The packaging is holographic. Mm. See that? Yeah, I saw it. See that? Yeah, it's great. Lovely packaging. You're very happy. You're, like, you're very interested in the packaging of food, aren't you? I love the packaging of it. To be honest, it's part of the reason why I've always been really interested in food. Because I like the design of things. Like I'm very interested in design, which is why this channel looks so attractive. And in fact, to be honest, <laughs> I don't know why I bother. Like I put in so much effort on thumbnails and I'm like, oh that looks absolutely stunning. And then I would say I think I've noticed your thumbnail game getting weaker. There was a there's a run. A run where you put in I just spat out my gum on the floor. Do you want to put it in a bag or something? No. Sleep it there. Going back in. <laughs> the, is... Thank you for watching. <coughs> so what we've learned is, yeah, no, bye. Throwing it away. Oh. Um, um, yeah, your thumbnail. There's been loads where you've done recently where it's literally just, just you, you, you and the product and the border and that. Yeah, correct. You are spot on. Which um, is fine, I'm not criticising, I'm just saying that well, you, no, seem, not, no. you seem to have put in less sounds, effort. That right, sounds very critical. What, yeah, how could anyone possibly take you're putting in less effort as crit criticism. I wouldn't. No, you shouldn't. No, obviously I know that. All I'm saying is you're 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 leaving more time to do other important tasks. There you go. Yeah, no, you are. So actually, bloody good, keen eye actually, because that's absolutely that's absolutely right. Yeah, just um, I think in the most immediate term, it's because I've worked a reasonable amount on my comedy channel recently. 
the last last probably two or three weeks I've done quite a lot on the comedy channel. Oh. Um, so the food reviews I've just been busting out and um, actually funnily enough the Parma Violets Oreo thumbnail is going to be quite a big one so I've been putting that off for a good couple of days. I meant to, I basically meant to do it a week ago actually and I still haven't done it yet. And, well it was going to go up tomorrow but now we've got the Donna and Juris. Anyway this is all completely off topic. I totally agree. Really nice. I love the hard texture which is like a sugary shell but then immediately inside that it's really soft. Mm. It's a really soft gum, which is quite good, but then it does become more sort of glutinous and become like a normal gum. Uh, the flavour is jam-packed, and it's really nice. I don't know what to do. Uh, I think I'm probably going to end up giving it a four, just because it's not the sort of product I would buy. But if it was the sort of product I'd buy, it, then this is as good as it gets, really. It's amazing flavour and um, something different. So, uh, yeah, but um, ultimately I'll probably just end up with a four. Which is, I know, okay. Sugar free as well. We see you, Luke Carrigan. Eyes on Luke. Sugar free as well, isn't it? Worth mentioning. Tic Tac did that. I'd give it a solid four stars, yeah. Go see how many stars? Four. Four. Fours across the board. All across the fours. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed this, why not like, subscribe, and tell all your friends about Food Review UK. Don't bother. His thumbnails are shit. He's lost it. He's losing. He's losing momentum. Fuck it. Don't bother. Cheers.